Hey web surfers, you've gone to YouTube and I found me. I'm Kenza Chaos and welcome to our channel. Just before we say anything, disclaimer, I don't own these songs. These songs belong to Panic at the Disco, not me. I do not claim copyright to these songs. These are someone else's songs, not my songs. I am not earning off the video. All credit goes to Panic at the Disco, Brendan Neary, Fueled by Raymond and the record label. Just, I don't own these songs, so please don't sue me. So today is the 22nd of June 2018 and that marks the release date of Panic at the Disco's new album called Pray for the Wicked and I am so excited by it. So because of that and to mark the release of it I decided to be a typical YouTuber and do like a reaction style thing although it's not my first reaction because I've already listened to it but instead just give you my general opinion on the album and each song individually. Okay, so I'm just doing this in the order of a playlist. This is definitely not the track list order, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. The first song on this list is High Hopes. This is one of the singles released, and when I heard it, I literally loved it. It's quite a dancey, upbeat song. It's just, it makes you want to dance. You feel like you just have to get up and dance. Like, you just can't help it. It's just so good. Basically, it's just like, go for your dreams and just, just do it. Next on the list was Dying in LA. This was not a single, this was one of the new songs. And it's quite, it's the impossible year of the Pray for the Wicked album. If you heard Death of a Bachelor, Impossible Year is off that and it's the very slow, sad song that makes you cry. This is that song. It's slow, it's sad and it makes you want to cry but in the best possible way. It may actually be my favourite song off the whole album, which you wouldn't expect. It's really nice. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, I'm sold. You've got me. But nobody knows you know when you die. song is old fashioned. I haven't got much to say about this and I don't know why because it's not that it's just a bad song there's just not much I can say about it. It makes you kind of want to just like head bop and it's just it's good but I can't really say much about it other than that and why am I still head bopping? I don't know. is a new song again that's also dancey but it's very unpanic if that makes sense it doesn't sound like panic's old style like i've heard a lot of people be like none of this album is their style and it's i guess in a way they're kind of right but it's not bad that it's not their style this is the one that kind of stood out and i was like this is not panic what i love the direction they took it in it's just so so good Me! song and the verse goes really well with it. The thing that I did like about it though was the Broadway vibe, like towards the end they did the kind of thing of where it's like you do like the kick flick thing. This is my Hey Look Ma 
I made it. Um, and that's uh, upbeat and very ironic, actually. Basically, the music industry ruins you. And it's just, it was good though. It's just the video is messed up. The fact that it's so upbeat is really ironic for what's actually happening in the video. And like. Hey, look, Mom! Okay, this is one of the ones that I'm quite unsure about. There are two songs on this album that I really don't get on with that well. And King of the Clouds is one of them. Like, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, it's just not brilliant either. I'm King of the Clouds, of the Clouds, I get Silver lining. There's two words written on my pad here, and the words are hate it. I've tried it so many times, and I don't like it any more than when I first heard it. I just don't like it at all, and I don't know why that is. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. massively into it when I first heard it. I thought it was going but I was kind of like, it's a good song, whatever. It's chaotic. The video is chaotic, which makes the sound chaotic and it's just sensory overload and you're like, okay, this is good. I'm liking this. Let's have a bit of fun. Oh, it's Saturday night. Yeah. I pray for the wicked on the weekend. Mama, can I get another amen? Oh, oh, it's Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. the drunks it's not one that you want to dance to really like it's not a dancey song but that doesn't matter it's still good despite that it's still great this is what it feels like when you become one of the drums this is what it feels like Dancing's not a crime. I heard this song earlier today and I fell in love. I was obsessed with it. It's just, it's a good song. You want to dance to it and you just feel like, it's kind of like you feel like you should be in a gospel choir. That was kind of where I was going with it. It's got a very Broadway sort of musical vibe to it. Uh, but I just felt like I should be in a gospel choir just to it as I went along. It's just so good and it's gospel and it's it's just it's good. Whatever they tell you. album is a really good album. It's not Death of a Bachelor standard. It's very rare for me to like every song on the album but Death of a Bachelor was one that I did that with. Um, so it's not the best album they've ever done but it certainly ain't the worst. It's a really good album. Like I say there are only two songs that I'm not really a fan of which are King of, King of the Clouds and Silver Lining. Let's not talk about that. Um, but yes, um, 
go and listen to the full songs. I'll put the link to buy the album and all that sort of stuff in the description below because you should definitely go and check it out. And, and definitely go and listen to the full songs as well because, you know, you might have a different opinion to me. If you've already listened to the album, then let me know down in the comments what your favourite song is and what you think of sort of my views of them. Do you agree with them or do you completely disagree? Because it's fine if you do, just be nice about it. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye!